Chapter 9 The Sacrament of the Holy Eucharist For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. This passage is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 26. St. Paul reminds us that as often as we eat the bread and drink the cup, we proclaim Christ's death until he comes again. The bread of life is found in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 6. Here we encounter Jesus feeding the 5,000 people with just five loaves of bread and two fish. There are also other miracles of Jesus walking on water, Jesus promising to give his disciples his own flesh and blood to eat. And this is not just speaking of a symbol, but it is the real present of Jesus. We know and we believe that Jesus is the bread of life and he is present in the Holy Eucharist, body, blood, soul and divinity. Now there are many titles given for the Eucharist like Holy Communion, Breaking of the Bread, Blessed Sacrament, Lord's Supper, Bread of Life, Bread of Angels, Holy Sacrifice. The Institution of the Eucharist Jesus instituted the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist at the Last Supper, and this we call it as the First Mass. The meaning of Eucharist means thanksgiving. Jesus consecrated the bread and wine after giving thanks to the Father. Now, what are the sign of the Eucharist? The sign of the Eucharist in matter, this is the bread and wine. Form. This is my body. This is the cup of my blood. Minister. Minister is an ordained priest. This priest acts in persona Christi, which means in the person of Christ, doing exactly what Jesus did. Bread. Bread made from wheat, which is destroyed and formed into one loaf. We die to sin, united with Jesus. This is the meaning of, of, of the bread. Wine. It is made from crushed grapes used around the world for meals and celebration. Now, what is the meaning of transubstantiation? Transubstantiation means the bread and wine are changed into the body, blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ during the words of consecration. Appearance of bread and wine, it remains the same. The real presence, the fact that Jesus is really and truly present in the Holy Eucharist under the appearance of bread and wine. Now, in every churches, you will find a tabernacle. What is this tabernacle? Tabernacle is the special solid and immovable container in which the Blessed Sacrament is kept. And it is often adorned with symbols of Jesus. The effects of the Eucharist. What are the results when, rece when we receive the Holy Eucharist or when we love the presence of Jesus in the Eucharist? We receive sanctifying and sacramental grace. So this is what happened to us when we love the Holy Eucharist and when we receive Jesus in the form of body and uh, in the form of bread and wine. The effects of the Eucharist also, uh, the venial sins are forgiven. We are united with Jesus and not only with Jesus, we also are united with one another. Now, what is the meaning of sacrilege? 
Sacrilege means a serious mistreatment of people, places, or things that have been consecrated to God. So anything or any people or the place that have been consecrated to God, when we mistreat, when we misuse, we, uh, we commit a sacrilege. Example, receiving the Eucharist in a state of mortal sin. So this is sacrilege. Now at the end of this video, I would like you to do one activity. And it's very simple. Just write a prayer to Jesus in your own words. Something you can really pray to him after receiving the Holy Communion. I hope this video has brought more love and understanding towards the Holy Eucharist.